the world's polar bear population could soon be much, much smaller. That's according to a new Canadian study that finds climate change could have a devastating impact on the animals. Researchers looked at the way temperature changes affect the animals. Polar bears are forced to fast during summer months if sea ice melts and they have to come to land. If the summers become longer and warmer, the bear's protein stores will deplete and that could mean that they could die of starvation. Canada is home to about two-thirds of the world's polar bear population. Andrew DeRoche is a professor of biological sciences at the University of Alberta and one of the authors of this study. He joins me tonight from Edmonton. Hello there. Thanks for being with us. Good evening. So this is not a new story. We've heard before that the polar bear population is at risk. What makes this study different? Well, the, the major change with uh, this study is that we're really looking forward in time uh, with some quantitative estimates of what's likely to happen to polar bears in the future. Uh, we can look backwards in time, and, and that's where much of the information we've got is coming from. We can so see that polar bears are uh, smaller than they used to be. They're skinnier. They're not having as many cubs, and the survival rates are down. But until this point, we've really never had a method of looking forward in time to get a better estimate of what might happen and when it might happen. So in simple terms, what was the method? Well, what we're doing is we're, we're really looking at how much fat the bears have. This is the energy store that they use to go through this long period of time on land through the summer. And what we were able to do is basically estimate how much energy these bears are using every day and then from that, it's really a simple accounting sort of procedure to estimate how long they can go without food. And what we found was that uh, there are very serious concerns about the future for this species, and particularly in the Hudson Bay system. You are predicting the polar bear population will see a quick and rapid decline, a lot of bears dying all at once. I believe you refer to it as massive mortality. When might this happen? Well, it's a little bit hard to predict, but when we're looking at the sea ice changes that are coming, we can see that we're losing somewhere around one week of uh, sea ice every year. So that means that the bears over the last 30 years are having to go for about three weeks longer without food. If we push this by another month or a month and a half, um, it's very clear that we're going to see very massive uh, mortality events. And one of the real concerns about this study is that it's not going to sort of creep up on us slowly. Um, it's going to happen very quickly. So we can go from a situation of having a relatively healthy population to having an extremely uh, dire situation, one that we're really poorly prepared to deal with as well. So the concern is how fast this actually might occur uh, and this is really dictated by the sea ice, but all indications are that it's changing very quickly in the Hudson Bay system and very quickly this year in particular. Is there time to reverse this? Is there time to stop it? Uh, all the analyses I've seen suggest that if uh, the world is serious about dealing with uh, greenhouse gases and climate change, yes, we can turn it around. And we can certainly help the long-term conservation of polar bears if we do so. Andrew DeRoche, thank you very much for talking to us tonight. You're very welcome.